Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Henry and this is Create Your Own Cozy. If I don't hold on to him, he's going to bark at the next door neighbor's dog. So this is what we're going to do. On this week's video, I am going to show, show you a little haul from the thrift store and kind of a big haul from my friend Jenny, who met me at the thrift store, which is why I went shopping. Anyway, I am recording this on Wednesday and it is six days until my booth opens. And the good thing is a lot of these things can be flipped without doing much to them. And so I thought I'd show you, I am, I've done some preliminary pricing in the basement. I, I have my tags. It's, it's time to get moving. So what did I do? I went to the beach last weekend with my family for a five day beach trip. <laughs> we were, <laughs> we're supposed to go the day after Christmas to my sister's beach house down in New Smyrna beach. Florida and we got COVID. So this trip and getting out of this space was long overdue. I had so much I need to do here and I couldn't rest. So being away was good for me to rest, but I'm not going to lie. It's hard for me to get back in the swing of things. I'm doing laundry. I am trying to get my wits about me and realizing like I got a lot to do. So maybe showing you guys my finds will help get me motivated and um i hope you guys enjoy so i met jenny at the thrift store and if you guys don't know jenny is a friend of mine who i actually met at the thrift store who now likes to um just give me loads of things for free and i said you know what half of my booth is going to be your stuff are you sure you don't want to go in like half seas with me and she's like nope 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 i don't want that this is my version of doing this from the sidelines so anyone who's afraid out there to do something like this, just look around for the people that are totally cheering you on for your success and you'll probably find them. So let's start. First thing I found was this basket for $2.99. This would be so cute for like sewing supplies. $2.99 working basket. I am probably going to put antiquing wax. Watered down a tiki wax on that. That is just a little too straw colored for me, but that, that would be an easy flip. Also, I got this cute little one for $2.99. I just thought it was, hmm, I don't know, like a little romantic basket. So I'm probably going to do some antiki wax on this too. I might leave it as is. It, it really is kind of a nice color. Nice find. I noticed that as I put my stuff together in the basement, um, I'm wanting more woods and baskets to kind of break stuff up from all the stuff painted white. Yes, I know I have a white problem. <laughs> um, this guy was also $2.99, but it's a little too orange for me. So I am going to do a black wash to this, which is just using black paint watered down. And when you add black to the orange, it definitely takes away the orange. So I've done that before, but thought that that was a very fun one because these go down and you can use it multiple ways. There is something sticking out over here, but... Oh, see, you just take it off and you don't even realize it was broken. For the people that like wave baskets, I didn't want to leave them out. This one's already done. $2.99. This would be great in the bottom of a food pantry. Put potatoes or something in it. Can't go wrong with that. I This guy, $2.99. It's a very big size. I like it as, as is. I believe somebody would also like it as is. Can you see the theme here? I'm ready to get things to go straight to the booth because I got a lot to do. All right, look at this one. I thought this would be fun as like something to keep in my booth full time and sell stuff from. It is substantial. Like there's not even any noise when you hug on it. 
So it's $6.99. You could also take this off of it, but quite honestly, I kind of like it for if I was using it to stage stuff in the booth. I thought that was a very good find. It's white. I like it as is. Now, recently I went to a new like little, well, not new to us, market with my friend Jen, who's been on the channel before. And she asked me, she likes to give me ideas for videos. Thank you, Jen. Um, but she said, do you know how to do like a basket light? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's got to be so simple. I could probably figure that out and I'll show you. So I had been on the, I was starting to be on the lookout for lights for a basket and look what I found. Now, what I think this is, is like something to cover up food if you're outside, like from flies and stuff. Cause it has like a little hook on the top and it had something underneath. It was $4, but look at the little trim on the side. I might be painting this thing white <laughs> because like, I just don't know that I love the way that looks, but I thought it was perfect to try a hanging light. So eventually, again, ideas all over the place, but when I'm in the mood and I say today, I want to make a light, this is what I'll use. And this was $4. And Jen, I heard you, and I will work on that. I also got this for $3. Thought this would be cute for a basketball. Or to put down, like you could put, if you had like a little lamp, or something like by your bedside table to kind of hold your stuff so you can't see all your stuff. Just needs to be cleaned out. And then on that trip, I saw this, I thought it was so pretty. It was $5. It is stamped Salmon Falls Stoneware, Dover, New Hampshire. I just thought someone was gonna love that. And then my husband got my daughter's single roses. I'm going to be a lot of, I feel like I need to tell a lot of stories today. So bear with me on my storytelling. My husband got my girls roses, like each a rose for Valentine's day. <laughs> and he put them in plastic cups. I'm like, babe, I feel like we can kick this up a notch. So this was kind of my idea. We could cut them. This was a dollar. It's cute and white. We could cut cute little snip snip, cute little rose thing. He does this often for them, so why not have that? Speaking of this, I had to get this. <laughs> it was $2. Look how big this is. I'm kind of a big deal. Um, we, we joke around that, and we say this to my husband, and he has like a little sign that says this, but the next like probably Father's Day we're going to put something in it, maybe candy or something. I just thought that that was a really cute find for him. This Jenny found me in the store and I bought it $2 and it is for spools. So I have an idea for some type of a upcycle with this, but I need to find some more things to go with it, but I've got it and thought it was pretty cool. And then here I am with my storytelling. I have a lot of food allergies in my family. My middle kid is allergic to peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, sesame, beans, peas, garlic, onion, and avocado is making her throat itch now. Like a like half of the ones I said at the beginning are anaphylactic. It's a whole thing making food around here. And tacos or Mexican is an easy meal for my family because I'm also gluten and dairy free and so is my other daughter. So this is like an easy meal, but look at this. I just thought this was so pretty. This is for me. I paid $5 for it to put the little tacos on, dress them up. Maybe we could start to get a little fancier since we have it so often. Um, so that was for me. 
got with as much as we do Mexican. Oh, and on this vacation, the said kid who is 10 and is allergic to everything, right? She just decided that she loves animals so much. So immediately she had her burger that night. And the next day she said, I'm now a vegetarian. What am I supposed to make her? She's allergic to beans, peas, garlic, onion. She doesn't like rice. How is this? Y'all, I have a lot on my plate. Okay, I digress. The thrift store had anything that was like scarf related for a dollar. And look at the beautiful colors on this. Could be a cute pillow. It's a beautiful scarf. There's nothing wrong with it. But when it's booth time in the fall, look how pretty that looks. Yes, please. All right. And then the last thing that I got, this is still in its box. It was $5. No, it was $6, but it was still in the box. I will hold on to that until fall. Beautiful. So those were all the things that I got because Jenny needed to meet me at the thrift store. These are the things that Jenny gave to me for free because she wants me to be successful. I've got this cute little urn planter, which is great as is. It's white or like an office white. She gave me a basket. Free, totally cute as is, not doing anything to it. Now this, I don't know that it's going to go to the booth because this might need to stay at my actual house. And that's totally legit. I don't, everything she gives me, I don't have to sell. I've confirmed that. <laughs> but look at that. It's like got legit rust. I might do like a little clear coat um, of spray paint on it just so that the rust stops and that it's not active rust in my home. But that, like she probably got that from an antique booth and gave it to me. All right. Paper towel holder. When I set up my, um, when I set up my studio in the basement, I need to keep paper towels down there. Look at this. One gallon. Don't know what I want to do with it yet, but look at it. It's a big, and then this, oh, this is cute. I don't know if I can get rid of this either. Look at this, guys. Needs to be cleaned up. She originally got this for $14.99 at Ross for a graduation party. I kind of, because of the gold, I kind of want to paint that white and have like a two-tone since I've got a lot of white and gold in my house. This would be for me. <laughs> One for me, one to sell. And then this one, she also got at Ross, $13.99. I would love to know, for you guys that have booths, I feel like Galvanized is out or not as trendy. Do people still buy it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys have any tips or tricks or things to remember about opening a booth, running a booth, I would love to hear your comments and advice down in the comments below. I have someone working on making my official logo. I need to work on a sign for my booth. I am working on my business cards. Um, I do have a question. If you guys have any suggestions about how to keep inventory, I am going to number everything that I tag. But if you guys know of any apps or systems to use other than just a basic spreadsheet, I'd love to know that information as well. If you guys like this video, I would love a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below your favorite find. Also would love any advice or encouragement that you have to offer. Let me just tell you, between the people rooting for me in my life, um, the people supplying me with free inventory in the back of my vehicle, 
the people just encouraging me and saying that they're proud of me, it goes a long way. And considering I started this journey a little over a year ago just to start my YouTube channel, I am super excited about the progress and I am so thankful for this community who is constantly encouraging me and believing in me and saying that they know I'll be a success when I don't always feel like I will be. So thank you so much, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and hit notifications to all so every time I upload a new video you guys get it. Share with people if you like this kind of content and you and you know someone who might like it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.